All right, so I just dropped off Kita at school. I don't know if you can hear the intercom, but they're doing the morning announcements. And I love that they still say the Pledge of Allegiance at school. I don't know why they wouldn't. They always did when I was in school, but I just heard over the years that they stopped doing it. And I'm so glad that they still do it at Kita School. I think it's so sweet and so important and patriotic, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just sitting in the line trying to get out of the school lot. And I was just thinking about how happy and like at peace I feel with Kidel repeating next year. You know, knowing that as we're in our final weeks of school, that it's not the end of a chapter for us. Cause I feel like last year, again, I've said this so many times, but I feel like last year was such a transitional year for us. You know, we, closed a really big chapter of our life with JSA. We left our apartment that we were in for years. And now we're kind of like reestablished re back in the same community that my parents live, that me and Kiddo have both grown up in. So it feels like we're, we closed that chapter and that was a big deal, but we're finally like settled in our new chapter. You know, we're in our little condo right down the road from my parents' house. Like I said, in the same neighborhood we've always known, Kiddell's going back to the same school that he went to before JSA for kindergarten, and he's doing so well. So I'm just really grateful that we get one more year of consistency for him. We don't have to go through the same motions of closing yet another chapter and starting over yet again, he gets to just have another year of consistency, which I love for him, especially in such a healthy environment. His elementary school is just so fantastic. They're doing a field day this Friday, which I think he is really going to love. I, I honestly don't know exactly what they're doing, but they keep saying, you know, <laughs> Make sure you pack a lot of water, spray your kid with sunscreen, because they're going to be outside playing all day, which just sounds like so much fun. And I know Kiddo will be all about that. It's really cool. We've, Like I said, we've only got a few weeks left, and I've already started, tried to start getting the ball rolling on planning out the summer camps, and Kiddo's going to go back to the same kids' gym that he's gone to, which will be really fun. He's going to go a couple days a week. It's across town, it's funny. It's closer to where we used to live in our apartment, but it's totally worth the drive because the gym is owned by behavioral analyst. And so they're like ABA friendly, autism friendly, tons of like swings and slides and climbing stuff. So Kato obviously loves that and it'll be fun to send him there throughout the summer, a couple days a week for camp. So we've got that going on. We're gonna go back to Hilton Head. Um, we made a few vlogs last year, but it's in South Carolina and it's like a little beach town. And my family grew, I've grown up going there. My family has had timeshares there since before I was even born. When my mom was like a teenager, they started going. And so it's kind of like a family get together. And actually, oh my phone's falling, can you fix that? Actually, I have very exciting news. At least I think it is. For me and Kiddo, it's exciting. We are going to purchase a timeshare, <laughs> which normally I would not be interested in. I'd be like, eh, you know, I don't know. Timeshares kind of have an iffy reputation, you know? Uh, yeah, and normally I would not really be like looking for a timeshare to buy, but like I said, we've gone here for years it's like a family tradition and I've watched this little timeshare community literally stay the same like it's it's been like a stamp of time like it has been so well maintenanced throughout the years and not a lot has changed like they've preserved it very well it's very nice very well kept like it's in a very nice area you know it, I don't see it becoming like a day like a run down beach down in you know 10 years like it it's always going to be like a nice vacation spot like I just feel very confident in that so anyways the old man that we rent from he had like a couple time shares and like we would rent the smaller one that he had because it's just me and Ken Hill 
he has decided, I guess he's getting older in age and he's decided that he's going to sell and he's giving me you know, a really good price. So I'm really excited. We're, <laughs> it's our first thing that we're going to own. Like, you know, it's a timeshare, but we still own it, which is cool. So it's going to be our first thing that we own and it'll just be like, kind of like a, a pre-planned vacation. You know, it's something that I know we're going to get to do every summer. I don't have to put a whole lot of thought into like planning out a vacation. Like that's there. It's available for us. We just show up and hang out. So I'm really excited for that. And I kind of anticipate the next couple years to be a little bit chaotic. I am planning on going back to school. I've already gotten that ball rolling actually. And I just kind of see the next few years for me and Kiddell as being like years of just needing to kind of be a little bit habitual. We're not gonna be super uh, spontaneous or footloose and fancy free just because I do have some specific school goals and life goals that I want to accomplish. And so for that reason, I'm really excited that I don't know, just the timeshare just seems kind of cool. You know, we have, like I said, a, a vacation that we can just go, you know, it's our, it's there. We don't have to like put a lot of stress into planning and everything out. Like we can just go and chill and relax and have a good time. So that's going to be our summer vacation for the next <laughs> several years. Well, indefinitely for the next several years, that'll just be our our spot and then maybe once I get through school and stuff we can tag on a second summer vacation and go somewhere new but right now it's Hilton Head and we are not sad about it <laughs> Go home and work. Ah.